The Wiggles, the story of the missing pages. The Wiggles are very excited. They have a brand new storybook to read. Can I read it? asked Simon. It's a story about a bird and I have the perfect costume to wear. Of course, replied the other Wiggles. Everyone gathers around to hear the story. Once upon a time, says Simon. Oh dear, the next page is missing. In fact, lots of pages are missing, says Simon. Well, says Anthony, why don't we make up our own story to fill in the gaps? That's a great idea, says Emma. Yes, says Lockie and Simon. What a good idea. Everyone sits down to think about the story. I know, says Anthony, leaping up. Maybe the story is about a musician from Mexico. He grabs his guitar and dances around the room. The musician travels around and makes everyone happy with his music. The Wiggles clap. It's a great start to the story. Emma jumps up. She has an idea. And then he meets a ballerina who needs someone to play music for her ballet recital. Emma twirls around on her tippy toes and curtsies to an imaginary audience. The audience loves the concert. They have never seen ballet performed to guitar before. Everyone looks at Lockie to see if he has any ideas for the story, but he has fallen asleep. Wake up, Lockie! They all say together. Lockie wakes up with a jump. What is it? he asks. I'm trying to dream up the next part of the story. Lockie goes back to sleep, but he wakes up almost straight away. I know, he says. I think the story is about a sailor who goes off to sea in the big red boat. Lockie stands up and dances a sailor's jig, tapping his feet and whistling a sea shanty. A sailor went to sea, 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 he sings Lockie, to see what he could see, 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 and all that he could see, 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 sing the wiggles. Was the bottom of the deep blue, see, 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 finishes Lockie. The wiggles clap. Then Simon jumps up. And then, he says, the sailor meets a magician who can pull a handkerchief out of thin air. Simon waves his hands like a real magician and does some amazing magic tricks. Abracadabra, bibbidi boo here is a handkerchief just for you. Simon pulls a handkerchief out of his sleeve. Everyone claps and Simon takes a bow. Just then they hear a knock on the door. It's Captain Feathersword. I heard you were making up stories, me hearties. What about this one? There is a pirate who secretly wants to be a cowboy. Great idea, says Emma. And he meets a cowgirl who secretly wants to be a pirate. yee Emma tips her hat to Captain Feathersword. yee says Captain Feathersword. He swings his feather sword in the air like a lasso. The Wiggles are so excited about making up their own stories that they have forgotten about the story in the book. I know, says Anthony. Maybe there is a troop of tap dancing skeletons. Yes, says Emma, and they all wear top hats and travel the world. Your toe bones connected to your foot bone, sings Simon. Your foot bones connected to your ankle bone, sings Emma. Your ankle bones connected to your... I just had a great idea, says Lockie. The dancing skeletons go to Japan and meet a group of friends who are in a band. Yeah, says Anthony. He grabs his guitar and starts to play. The Wiggles all sing along. They are having a great time dressing up and making up stories. But what if it was about a salsa dancer, says Simon, who has lost his dance partner? Or maybe a princess, says Emma, who has to fight a dragon. Or a rock star, says Anthony, who wants to play the drums. Just then, Simon starts laughing. Oh, these are all great ideas, he says to the other Wiggles. But guess what? The pages weren't missing after all. They were just stuck together. The Wiggles laugh. They've had a great time making up their own stories, but now they want to find out what happens in the book. Once upon a time, says Simon, starting from the beginning, and this time he reads every page.